Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with another FFC vlog, a vlog shot using the front facing cameras and all the phones and tablets and gadgets we get to test out here on somegadgetguy.com. And this vlog is being shot on the front facing camera on the Nokia Lumia 1520. Again, hoping at some point we eventually get 1080p front facing video on Windows Phone. This vlog is super special for me as last weekend I got to go hit the Firefly Music Festival up in Delaware. Four straight days of kick ass bands and concerts and DJs and clubs and drinking and it was off the hook. The new Microsoft Lumia crew and the Mix Radio crew got together a really awesome group of bloggers and social media folk to go take up to Dover so that we could all hang out and have a good time. It's maybe been one of the most fun trips I've ever been on in my professional career, due in no small part to the insanely fun group of people that I got to travel with. Running down the list right quick, and I apologize in advance if I butcher anyone's name because the entire weekend I was sort of thinking about everybody in terms of their Twitter handles anyway, because I'm a nerd. We have Amy Geese who goes by at Griebel House on the Twitter, and Monica McMahon, uh, who goes by at Monica Run, and they're a pair of concert tech travel bloggers, writers. We're gonna have Monica on to do a sit down interview because she started a company called Noise Lace and they make these amazing concert ear earplugs, you know, to protect your hearing during concerts and stuff. And rather than just being ugly, squishy foam, they're these really nice necklaces with little magnetic clasps. Really impressed with them and I'm gonna definitely be showing that off on camera, especially being an audio guy, because you gotta protect your hearing. Next up we have Katie Bouet, who goes by at Katie Bouet on Twitter. Not a very imaginative name there, Katie. And Heidi Henry, who goes by at Banana Buzz Bomb. That's a much more inventive Twitter name. They're a pair of outdoor adventure bloggers and writers, all kinds of crazy rock climbing, desert hikes, uh, high adventure stuff. Definitely give them a follow on the Twitters if you like to occasionally see the sun from time to time. And a pair of incredible photographers, Karen Grubb, who goes by at Mrs. Underscore Grubby, and Pete Halverson, who goes by at Pete Halverson. Definitely give them a follow on Instagram because they are badass photographers taking all kinds of amazing shots. And uh, I think they did a really good job of just sort of summing up the entire vibe for all of the events that we got to participate in. Next up, we have Ms. Mary Pryor, who goes by at Ms. Mary Pryor on the Twitters and Urban Socialista on the Instagram. Just one of the coolest gals you'll ever meet. She definitely helped me out with the hookup on some VIP areas so I could catch some of my favorite bands. She's a music and tech writer who's written for a number of different outlets, but definitely give her a follow on the socials. At Divas and Dorks is the second event I've done with Kristen, and uh, she's always fun to pal around with. Sort of a, a tech and fashion lifestyle blogger. Definitely check out her take on technology media, entertainment, because she's super, super savvy, and she's a lot of fun to talk to. Got to spend a little time with Sam Schuerman. She's a YouTube vlogger all into beauty and fashion. Not really my scene, my demo, but she gave me a few tips just to help me kind of clean this all up. I haven't implemented them yet, but maybe eventually this will be a little less abrasive to look at. I got to meet Ali Akbar, who's a political blogger, and he goes by at Ali on Twitter, and that's a badass Twitter handle. He must have been like, the third person on Twitter to land that short of a Twitter handle. That's amazing. I got to spend some time palling around with at I'm Danny Williams on Twitter, or he's the Danny Williams on Instagram. Super funny dude. He's a, he's an actor and a ball player out of Atlanta. And along with Brad Scott Fitness and Drew Taylor from Self Made DT, those last three guys helped provide all of the beefcake for our adventures out there. I'm sure the ladies loved seeing all three of those dudes in tank tops. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm building. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hook that up, but I have a ways to go to catch up with all three of those guys. Definitely check out Self Made DT. He's an entrepreneur out of Kansas City. He's doing all kinds of work in creating brands that help empower people to go out and do the things they want to do. It's a cool message, and I definitely love supporting that kind of mindset. With such an eclectic mix of fun and interesting people, I almost have to wonder if the Lumia team just brought me along to play tech support. But this trip was incredible. We got to hit the Dogfish Head Brewery, where we got samples of all of the different IPAs that they've been working on, a tour of the entire facility to see how they produce some of the best beer in the world and that was just to get us loosened up before we hit the actual firefly show and folks i'm not a huge music festival person i kind of like being able to find a shower occasionally but it was four days of some of the most amazing live sets i've ever seen in my entire life and i got to check some of those bucket list bands off of my list i'm a huge fan of the foo fighters and had never had an opportunity to see them live and they threw one of the most amazing two-hour sets i think i've ever seen in my entire life ditto getting to see weezer again for the first time since high school that's where i have to throw another shout out to ms mary Pryor. she hooked me up with the super vip pass so i could catch one of my all-time favorite bands above the concert stage even for the drum circle at the end it was an incredible experience and the entire setup was just crazy with all of the other bands performing over the weekend i saw some incredible acts 
uh, Arctic Monkeys threw down, and they were incredible. I'm not a huge Third Eye Blind fan, but seeing them live, I totally get why they have a rabid following. <laughs> Girl Talk threw down an incredible set with Freeway rapping live on top of all of that music mashup machinations. 21 Pilots is fantastic live, and they had this crazy like floating platform so they could move the drummer around the crowd. It was sick. I'd never seen anything like it. I was happy to see that Pretty Lights lived up to their name with an incredible laser light show. Outcast threw an incredible set, and I have to say I'm super happy to see them back together again. I've seen Andre 3000 live solo and I've seen Big Boy live solo, but I've never seen Outkast together at the same time on stage. The Kaiser Chiefs were amazing. They're another group that I really wish had found a little more traction here in the United States, but they're still performing. They're still going strong, so definitely check them out. And I got hit to a couple new groups that I'd never heard of before, the Unlikely Candidates, and they are a high-energy jam band. I, I had a blast watching their set, and the Colorists were super, super cool. We got to meet the Unlikely Candidates and the Colorists after their sets. Super awesome folks. We sat, we talked, we jammed. It was phenomenal. I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Record, but the entire weekend was a blast and the firefly grounds had all kinds of other activities for us to play with there was a brew house where we could watch some world cup action we got to see that almost awesome game between the united states and portugal <laughs> There were hammock areas for you to take a load off. The VIP areas were insane. We got to hook up with some free massages. I got to meet my buddy Tim. I haven't seen Tim since college, 10 years ago. And we went to college in Albuquerque. So where do I meet up with Tim? Of course, in Dover, Delaware at a music festival. And maybe one of the most fun experiences of my entire life was hitting the silent disco. Now folks, I cannot stress this enough, but if you ever see the words silent disco at some sort of club or party or hookup or festival go do it so the jam is you put on these headphones that have these little wireless rf transmitters that hook up to one of two djs and you can switch back and forth between the two djs it's like you're getting your own private dj concert with about 300 of your closest friends. And because there are two DJs battling, you can always switch back and forth. If one of them's playing a song that's maybe not your jam, you can switch over. There's almost always a guarantee that something you like is gonna be playing. It's a wholly unique, crazy experience, and I would highly recommend it if you can hook that up. Folks, I cannot thank the Lumia crew and the Mix Radio crew enough. This has been one of the most amazing trips I've ever gone on. I was so thankful, I was so grateful to be a part of it. I got to meet amazing people. We're all now friends on the various social networks that we all populate. We're still trading jokes about Silent Disco and, and Outcast and Foo Fighters and Weezer and the Arctic Monkeys. Ugh. And for those of you who might be interested in such things, I was documenting most of my experiences with my Lumia 1020 throughout the weekend. You can hit up my Instagram, you can hit up my Twitter and see what was going on last weekend because it was crazy and I had a blast. My voice is still recovering from all of the screaming that I was doing over the weekend because when they say, get your damn hands up, you get your damn hands up. And just as a reminder that this FFC vlog was shot on the front-facing camera on the Nokia Lumia 1520, I figured that would be appropriate to celebrate all of my Lumia and mixed radio shenanigans. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, leaving me those comments down below. I love the discussion we get into in all of my videos. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.